Remember your nine derivatives? Of course you do. Well, you are only going to integrate those nine things, more or less. No, only those nine things. And uh, the way you're going to do it is you're going to look at the integral and you're going to say, wait a minute, I know what differentiator to give that. So let's have a look at these three. Let's say you're faced with the integral x to the n. Well, you've already done this in C1, haven't you? You say to yourself, wait a minute, I know what was integrated, what was differentiated to get that. That power must have been one higher, because when you differentiate it, it goes down by one. So if it's n now, it must have been n plus one. But wait a minute, that's not right, because if I differentiate x to the n plus one, then the n plus one would come down, and then it would go down and change to just an n. But there's nothing in front here. There's nothing sitting there, there's no n plus 1. So what I need to do is compensate for this and put in 1 over n plus 1 here. So that's going to mean that that derivative works out. So what I'm doing is I'm working out what must have been differentiated in order to get this integral. So I'm thinking in terms of differentiating, not in terms of integrating. And this is going to be the best way to think about it. So, something like e to the 4x. Okay, the mother function here is e. The baby is 4x, but e is that mother function. So, I know what was differentiated, roughly. It was e to the 4x. Okay, now let's think about differentiating e to the 4x. What happens if I differentiate it? Well, the mother function is e, so I would just get e to the 4x. The baby's 4x, so the baby would stay inside as 4x. That's good, that's what I want. But then I would multiply by the derivative of the baby. The baby is 4x, derivative of the baby is 4. I don't want a 4 out the front, there is no 4 here. So I need to put a quarter there to make sure that it works out right. Done. What about 1 over x plus 1? Okay, well I know the derivative of ln is 1 over, so I know this has come from ln x plus 1, that must be that mother function. Now let's think it through, what happens if I differentiate, does it work or not? Well the derivative of ln x plus 1, the mother function is ln, the derivative is 1 over, so it would give me 1 over x plus 1, and then I'd have to multiply by the derivative of the baby, but the baby is x plus 1, the derivative is 1, so that does work. Brilliant, I don't need anything else on there plus c. Let's try some of the trig ones. For example, the integral of 3 cos 2x. Now, the basic function here is cos. Now, you just have to think to yourself, what differentiates to give cos? It's sine. So, sine is that mother function. When sine gets differentiated, you get cos. So, you're constantly thinking in terms of differentiation, not trying to think of integration. So if sine gets differentiated to cos, that must have been the mother function. The baby looks like it was 2x, so that must have been inside. Let's think this through. If I differentiate sine 2x, I get cos 2x, that is true, but then I would multiply by the derivative of the baby, which is 2, and there isn't a 2 there, there's a 3. So I need to deal with this out the front here. So I'm going to deal with it like this. I'm going to put a divide by 2 there, so that when I multiply by the derivative of the baby, it's got something to cancel. And then I'll put a 3 there at the front. OK, next one. Something like 4 sine x plus pi. You've got to be in radians when you're using calculus. OK, so must have come from cos, mustn't it? Cos differentiates to sine. Must have come from cos. Must, cos must be that mother function and the baby must be x plus pi. OK, that's my basic answer. Now let's think that through. What happens if I differentiate? Is it working out or do I need to fiddle around with it a little bit? So the cos goes to sine. The baby is x plus pi. Here's the baby. Derivative of the baby. I now have to multiply from differentiating. That would go here, but that's just a 1, so that's not a problem. So the only actual problem is that I'm missing this 4. Well, that's easily fixed, isn't it? Let's just put the 4 in. Done. OK, last one. Well, last one for these three. Uh, 2 sec squared, um, I don't even know how to make this difficult because it's not, 3x. Okay, sec squared. So you look at sec squared and you say, I know where you came from, sec squared. You came from tan. So the derivative of tan 
is sex squared, thinking in that direction. That's how I knew it was tan. The baby is a 3x. Oh, little baby, 3x there. Now thinking it through, derivative of tan, th sex squared, baby is 3x. I've got to multiply by the derivative of the baby, but there isn't a 3 here, so that's no good. So I'm going to have to put a third here, so that that baby's got, derivative of the baby's got something to land on. And then the 2 out the front goes there. So now that derivative works out. Let's have a look at those last three. There they are. Right, integral. Um, a half sec a half x tan a half x. Looks tricky, but it isn't because we know what that's come from. Sec x tan x has come from sec. The derivative of sec is sec tan. So it must have been the mother function, sec, and the baby, a half x. So if we think about differentiating, does it work or do we need to fix it a little bit? Derivative of sec is sec tan. Baby would stay inside a half x. Then you'd multiply by the derivative of the baby, which is a half. But look, there it is. Hooray! So we don't even need any sort of fiddling around. It's literally, by differentiating sec a half x, you can see that we've already got that integral right. Okay, next one. Um, do you know what? I just thought, I wonder if any of you noticed this. I suddenly just thought this. Hang on. Look at this. You just go there a minute. When I differentiated this one, this one here, I said the derivative of cos is sine. No, it isn't. Cos starts with a C. All the ones that start with a C have a negative derivative. If I differentiate this, I'd get 4, I'd get minus 4 sine x plus pi because the derivative of cos is minus sine. I need to put in a little minus sign in front of that 4, otherwise that's wrong. If you notice that, you are proper clever. Well done. Okay, let's go back to these ones. Sorry about that. Obviously, I wasn't properly concentrating. What reminded me is that I was about to write the integral of cos x squared 3x dx. I was about to write that down. I was about to say, well, what differentiates to cos x squared? It's cot. Um, the mother function must be cot. The baby is 3x. But what happens if you differentiate cos? No, cot. Now, if you differentiate cot, you get minus cos x squared. And there is no minus here. So what I'm going to have to do is put a minus here so that when you differentiate it, the minus and the minus cancel, which is why it's gone. So that can go there. What else have we got to deal with? Well, when you differentiate, you'd differentiate the mother function, cot, giving cos x squared. Baby stays the same. Then you multiply by the derivative of the baby. The baby is 3x, so the derivative is 3. We do not want a 3 out here. There's nothing there. So I need to stick a third at the front. Okay. Uh, final one, curve, I don't know, a third cosec 2x cot 2x. So what was the mother function? What got differentiated? Well, due to cosec is cosec cot. So cosec 2x, it must have been. That's where it came from. So you're thinking, differentiating. What differentiates to give that? K, any sort of fiddling needed here, let's think. Cosec differentiates to minus cosec cot. Did I want a minus? No, I didn't. Okay, let's put a minus in there. So then the minus and the minus can cancel. What else? Um, well, the baby here is 2x. So the derivative of the baby is 2. Is there a 2 there? Nope. So I'm going to need to put a half out there. But as well, there's this little third. So unless I do put that here, then obviously it won't be there. If I differentiate this as it is, then I get um, derivative of cosec is cosec cot, so I'd get cosec 2x cot 2x, good. Then times minus, but that minus will cancel that minus, good. Then times the derivative of the baby, which is 2x, derivative is 2, cancels with this half, good. But where's the third? So I need a third at the front as well, and a half times a third is a sixth, so I can put a sixth here and then it's going to work out beautifully. So those are the only things 
that you ever integrate.